Hi, I'm Mike Finnegan, host of Roadkill, Hot Rod Garage, and staff editor at Hot Rod Magazine, and today we are inside my race shop working on the trailer for my drag boat. This thing rides on an air suspension, and right now I've notched this cross member and I'm gonna be welding in these gusset plates, and ultimately I'm gonna turn this thing into a reserve air tank for the suspension. And I'm gonna be using Eastwood's TIG 200 ACDC TIG welding machine to complete all the welding. Because it's got both a foot pedal and a trigger on the torch, you can weld in a lot of awkward positions. And you know, if you're a foot guy, there you go. If you're a trigger guy, there you go, you're dialed in. These knobs are where all the flexibility comes from. You've got a knob for pre and post flow, and that determines how long the argon is gonna come out of that torch before the arc starts and after you release the trigger. Move over here, that's the amperage knob. That sets the power of the machine. Over here is clearance effect. Now this is really cool. This determines the balance between the penetrating effect of the weld and the cleaning effect. And that's really helpful for when you're welding aluminum. Once you've got the machine all set up, you've still got to prepare the torch. And what we're going to do here is unthread the rear cap, slide the tungsten out. It's got a flat edge on it. You need to turn this into a double point. There we go. Uh, you want to grind that down to somewhat of a point, but you don't want it completely sharp like a pencil. We are ready to turn on the machine and start welding. So now all that matters is getting comfortable, because that's the key to TIG welding, is hand position, timing, and your comfort. If you're not comfortable sitting here, there's no way you're ever going to weld beautiful dimes. Oh man, that's good. I'm absolutely floored at how well the TIG 200 works. I'm throwing down dimes like I weld every day of my life, and I don't. I'm gonna go over here and weld some aluminum right now just because I can. You can head to eastwood.com and check out the TIG 200 and all the other killer tools that Eastwood offers.